Today we are looking at a Audi EA855 does a 2.5 uh, five cylinder engine that's going to get a Wesley conversion project. Previously, it had a set of dry flange sleeves also made of ductile iron. We installed those. The reason why it came back to us is a spark plug melted and it destroyed the cylinder head, it destroyed the piston. But guess what? I think this is this cylinder. It, the dry flange sleeve saved the block. The block was saved, so the customer came back to us. He wants an upgrade. The reason why we call Wesley conversion an upgrade on these Daza block is for a very simple reason. The inner wall overheating issue. Normally in other engines such as BMW and Mercedes, the inner wall thickness is around seven to nine millimeters. But for this special tiny Audi block, and the same thing goes for the Audi A A37 and R8 5.2, is this is only minimum 5.5 millimeter wall thickness. But Audi drilled a set of cooling jacket, cooling holes between cylinders. This is like roughly two millimeter to 2.3, depending on uh, different models. So to put a dry flange sleeve in, you take another 1.25 millimeter and 1.25 millimeter on each side. Guess what? Not much is left. With precision machining, precision measurement, we can make sure you don't machine this off center and leave a leave a hole here. But even without a hole, this pin from this wall is probably less than 0.5 millimeter. So this is never a good thing because this reverse triangular shape is weakened. You think about it as a bridge. Head gasket and the cylinder head will sit tightly here. This sooner or later is going to collapse, especially during uh, operating heat. Today, maybe it will sink maybe 5 micron, maybe next month 10 micron. Eventually, you get 50 micron, that's like 2,000. Then guess what? The head gasket is going to sink. So I'm not saying that the dry flange sieve is not strong enough. This set of uh, dry flange sieve lasts 700 horsepower for two racing seasons, for two year, almost two years. There's not the strength problem, it's the inner wall heating problem on the aluminum side. And we know ductile iron at operating temperature is at least three times stronger than aluminum, no matter how good the aluminum is. This is just the nature of the material. So the whole point of Wesley conversion is not that it will increase the block strength significantly. It's because we want the overheating area to be swapped out from a, a soft material into a strong material. So uh, the aluminum, any aluminum that's exposed to heat is far below deck surface. Wait, far below the top dead center. That's the whole point of Wesley conversion on these blocks. Well, on many other blocks, they're, they're for strength reasons, they're for uh, power reasons, they're for over, overboard for stroker reasons. But here for Daza, the dry flange sieve is strong enough, but the aluminum that supports here, the, these four areas, they are weak. So it's not the sleeves are sinking, it's the uh, aluminum that's sinking. What are we gonna do with those? You, you plug these holes with screws, then you reduce um, cooling even further. So that's why Wesley conversion happens on this block. I hope that I explained this uh, clearly. Now, after we finish the machining, we'll show you the final result. Thanks for watching.